So Pusha T and Drake are beefing y'all right now, and the shit is getting real crazy real fucking fast. Let's talk about the shit. All right, y'all, so I'm just getting back into the swing of things. I was out in Houston for the weekend, this Memorial Day weekend. It was a lot of fun out there. But while that was going on, Pusha T dropped this album, Daytona, which I did just review, so check that shit out. But at the end of that album, the last song, Infrared, he takes shots at Drake for not writing his own music, the Quentin Miller shit, all that shit. And you know, they're kind of set in motion a little bit of like a little bit of beef going on. It really didn't pick up and though until Drake comes back with Duppy Freestyle. He drops Duppy Freestyle, which I thought was a cool little response. You know, Drake talked about like, you know, the nerve, the audacity. You ain't even top five on the label. Big Sean's better than you and all this shit. He's pretty much just going in and everybody thought that Drake had Pusha T. They were like, oh shit, Drake killed Pusha T. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, he didn't. I know what Pusha T is doing. This is like a little bait. And basically, Drake took the bait. And guess what? Pusha T response with that was the story of Adidon. And this right here really took the whole beef to a whole new level because Pusha T just went from one to five immediately. The shit escalated super quick, like Anchorman levels, y'all. Like, this motherfucker's talking about how Drake has a son that he ain't taking care of, he got the stripper pregnant, and he don't even want to, like, have the baby come home. He's just paying child support, all this other shit. He's going no. deep into this motherfucker's life. He's just talking about all this crazy shit, and, like, Pusha T is saying, like, this is just the beginning. Here's layers to this shit. He got an onion of Drake's dirt and shit, and he's just gonna peel off layer by layer. And Drake, I don't think so far has responded because he's probably it's probably fucking true. It's probably like I mean I'm pretty sure it is. Like Pusha T wouldn't say this shit if it wasn't true. But now I'm thinking, okay, how is Drake gonna respond to this shit? Like literally, either Drake's gonna have to go like in and just like give all his dirt out himself on some eight mile Eminem shit and just kind of like take all the ammunition away from Pusha, or maybe Drake's got some more shit on Pusha that we don't know. We don't fucking know because all Drake said in Duffy was that like, yo, you really wasn't selling like you said you was, your yeah. brother and your people was doing it before you. And he was just like, you know, pretty much just putting into question his street credibility. But we all pretty much know that Pusha T did what he said he did in them streets and in the game. Whether if it's a small scale or big scale, he was doing that shit and Drake ain't done none of that shit. But the fact that Pusha T went in so personally, so fucking quick, and he really just went super quick. I mean, like, damn, Pusha, you really gonna air out that shit? And like, now we're like, okay, where we at now? Because as of now, Pusha T is one. Pusha T has got Drake on the ropes. And I mean, I don't know what, what Drake's gonna do, what he's gonna say back to this. Either he's gonna let this shit go, and Pusha T's gonna get the W, or Drake's gonna come back with some shit. But I'm just sitting front row waiting for the next response. And I'm afraid, because if Drake comes back with anything, Pusha T apparently has more shit. And whatever he says next, if he said this first, well actually second, if he said that as the actual first response, but what else does Pusha T have on Drake? I mean, and then if you look at the album cover, like that's a legit picture of like Drake and Blackface. Like he's got it. I don't know how much dirt he got on Drake, but Drake, you better just think about this for a second. This ain't Meek Mill. I mean, yeah, you got the more popularity, but this is Pusha T. This motherfucker comes from like the rapidy rap era of like fucking killing niggas on the mic, like shit, like. It's gonna get good, but it's gonna get ugly real fast if Drake don't like come up with something real quick. So we gonna see what's gonna happen, y'all. Let me know your thoughts on this beef. I'm liking it right now, though. But I wanna know what Drake's response, if any, will be. If I was Drake, I wouldn't say shit no more. I'd be like, you know what? That's it. I would just like, you know, cause he ain't gonna, his, his image isn't gonna be too hurt. This is all building up momentum for the album. Cause Drake's got an album coming out. Push T's album's probably doing well off of this shit. So like, I think honestly, I mean, if I was Drake, unless he's got some super, super good dirt on Pusha T that'll just rock the whole fucking core of this shit, he should just shut the fuck up. Because honestly, if Pusha T got layers of shit still to go, it's going to be bad for Drake. It's going to be bad for Drake. So give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think of this Pusha T, Drake beef. Like I said, I'm loving this shit. I'm enjoying it. We haven't got a good rap, rap beef in a while. Like where it's like back and forth that somebody can actually contend one another. So I want to see this continue, but it's got to keep escalating. But I don't want it to escalate to a point where it's like get dangerous. But like some people's feelings are getting hurt. I mean, I mean, honestly, Drake, like you better take care of that boy. Take care of that boy. Let him come home. Come on now. Come on. So until the next time I take my leave, granddaughter, let's talk about the shit. Push a T. Versus Drake, Drake versus Pusha T. The fight is on, the battle is here. So who's gonna win this motherfucker? I'm, I'm putting my money on Pusha, y'all. I mean, right now he is in the lead. He's pretty much won right now, but let's see what Drake does, if he does anything. If he don't, get a W to Pusha, and that's what it is. I'm out of here.